Thank you, Tom. I didn't see this many people for the tennis review last year, but I'm glad everybody came out. Um, uh, I know that everybody's been waiting with anticipation on the uh, on the review of our men's basketball program. Um, you know, during that review, uh, both Coach Lowry and I certainly determined that um, we needed to make some changes going forward, and I'm going to ask Coach Lowry at the appropriate time to expound on what those changes will be. Uh, my main concern in all of this is uh, how we restore the program to the level of excellence that our fans uh, and alumni have grown accustomed to appreciate. Now, I think we have many of the necessary pieces in place, certainly with Saluki Way, uh, the new arena, uh, state-of-the-art locker room, training facilities. Uh, I think we're in tremendous shape uh, sh uh, from a scheduling standpoint. Uh, we are in the uh, ESPN Diamond Head Classic. Um, over the Christmas holidays, so we are still uh, uh, of significance in the world of college basketball. Um, I also like to remind people that we've got a head coach who's led our program to more NCAA tournaments than any other coach in school history or any other coach actively in our, in our league, in the Missouri Valley Conference. It's obviously the same coach that took us to the Sweet 16 in 2007. But uh, nonetheless, our program is not where it needs to be at this point in time. Um, when I sat down with Coach earlier in the week, we had a very thoughtful discussion about uh, the changes that need to be made. And we discussed a whole range of issues, which included, but not limited to, player development, player relations, organizational issues, um, recruitment, and academics. Uh, we are going to make some changes in the coaching staff, uh, although I'm not going to discuss the specifics at this time, uh, the personnel changes, because the eyes aren't dotted, the T's are not crossed, and I think it would be inappropriate at this juncture to get into any more specifics than what I just did. Uh, one area in particular that I wanted to address, and I think that it's critical going forward, is our player retention rate. Um, we're certainly not alone in dealing with retention issues. Um, and I, I got some statistics that I thought were really eye-opening because when every uh, college basketball season ends, that's when uh, a lot of these articles are written. But uh, independent studies by Fox Sports and Rivals.com found that 305 Division I men's basketball players left in 2007, uh, and that rose to 367 in 2010. And now this is out of 346 Division I NCAA men's basketball programs. The NCAA numbers say that 385 players transferred in 2004 and up to 442 in 2009, which is the most recent numbers that we have available. Now that's certainly a societal issue that we're talking about, but nevertheless our focus is on Southern Illinois and how we make ourselves better and we stop this trend in our own house. Okay. Now in my meeting with Chris, um, he, expe he uh, expressed a very fierce resolve to turn things around. Uh, no one takes losses harder than he does. No one is more passionate about Saluki basketball and has more vested interest in its success than Chris Lowry. The minute the season was over, he was on the recruiting trail in many different states trying to attract you know, the best kids that we can get to Southern Illinois. He has not lost his passion for his alma mater. If anything, he's redoubling his efforts to bring our program back to prominence. Coach Lowry has my support, and I'm going to ask all of our fans and alumni to support us as well, because we cannot do this without him. But I want to make clear that Coach Lowry has my support in moving forward. Um, and now I'll turn it over to Chris for his opening comments. Uh, first, I want to say thank you for coming. Um, obviously, uh, my, my meeting with Mario was very, very productive and extremely insightful. Um, you know, nobody wants to admit to failure. You know, everybody wants to talk about success. And I think from our meeting, uh, you know, which was, like he said, very frank and honest. And, and the only way you can be frank and honest with a person is if you have a, a mutual respect above being a business associate. And that's why we're able to say the things we needed to say to each other and understand that none of it was personal. And from hearing him say some things to me that I needed to hear be said. And, you know, obviously I was very thankful at the time. I was obviously, you know, when, when changes need to be made, you're hurt because you don't, you don't ever want to fail at anything. And you always want to, everything that you do and are a part of, you always want to be successful at it. 
Um, and we, dis we discussed every, all the aspects of Saluki basketball, and neither one of us are very happy uh, with the state it's in right now at this present time. Um, you know, we talked about retention a lot. Uh, but the, the number one thing we talked about, even more than that, was the identification of uh, the right type of student athletes that fit our profile and, and fit what we're, what we're trying to do here. And, and I think that was a, a, a big talking point. Um, and, and, and then also, the loss of our 2008 class is primarily the reason for our struggles in 2011. Because we, we understand that those are supposed to be our upperclassmen right now. Those are supposed to be the leaders of our program right now. And for whatever reason, they are not here. And uh, moving forward, um, we have to recruit players who can who understand this culture before they get here. And, I, and that's what has us so excited about the incoming recruits, because those kids knew us from 2002 to 2008 when we were, we were going to the tournament, we were going to NIT. And, and, and to be able to find kids like that is very hard, but being committed to doing that was something that, that we had to be uh, at that point. I, you know, I completely understand that the program begins and ends with me. Um, and we cannot maintain the, the, the status quo moving forward. And um, like I said, I've never lost at anything uh, my entire life. Um, I've never considered myself a second class at anything. And where this program is right now, um, you know, I apologize to our fans, our alumni, our students, because it shouldn't be at that point. Um, but I also understand, and I hope our fans understand, there's ebb and flow and every league and every conference and every sport uh, and everything. Uh, people are always, there, there's going to be programs that dominate leagues at certain times, and they're going to be down at certain times. We're in our down cycle, but um, when you consider where our league is and, and the two top teams may not get in the NCAA tournament, that tells you how quick a turnaround we can make here. And, and, and that's um, something that, that we understand as a basketball guy, knowing a few pieces here and there can change your, your fortunes or your misfortunes. Um, I feel the frustration of our fans, and you know I want to turn it around mostly because, because of them, because of the support that I got when I was a student athlete. Um, and, and secondly, because of the fact that we both share a common thread is that we love Southern Illinois University. And that has not changed with me. Um, and, 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 and that needs to be said. Um, you know, I, I still believe in our system. Uh, because of how hard we worked and how focused we were uh, during the, the conference tournament. Um, the way we played is the way I want to play. The way I coached is the way I want to coach. Um, and, I saw, and I think we saw our guys at a different level of commitment during that time. Now, why it took so long, I have no idea. But understanding where they need to go and where they need to be um, is something that I clearly um, have them with an understanding at this point. You know, I'm really looking forward to turning it back around uh, because, number one, I want to make um, the people that are close to me proud again. And that is obviously my family, uh, my coaching staff, and, and number one, the fans and alumni. I think it's important um, for me to say that, that this is not um, a gloom and doom time anymore. I, I think that um, moving forward, we understand what needs to be done. and. Obviously, me and Mario being together on this and not, 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 not showing separation. I mean, it's not a front. It's a reality. It's the understanding of two men knowing that in order to get better at something, we got to talk, and it has to be a business talk. It can't be a friendship talk. Um, it, it has to be straight business, and um, sometimes business talks aren't always fun. And understanding that people have families and all, um, that's a part of this business. Uh, so, like he said with the personnel stuff, we, we're not going to handle what's going to happen um, to our staff like they're business associates, but as family. And that's how, you know, it's going to handle move, handle that uh, when, when we do announce what's going what's to take place. Um, you know, we have some key upperclassmen that we're excited about that are here and some younger guys that we must continue to develop. And, and I think that's, that's the key. Player development has to go back to being – the number one thing, and that's where we really succeeded in the past. We developed guys. Guys got better, um, you know. And 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 there's also cultural issues that um, that have changed some of that too. But like I said, we have to find the right profile kid. Um, we have to right, find the right profile parents, um, and that that's even more important uh, because we we went from a 
traveling team with all the parents going on most of the road trips to not having very many parents traveling at all. And that, that's really important um, to me and, and to the kids that are playing. Um, I think that we have to um, continue to develop our players to get them back to the, the, the players that our fans are accustomed to seeing. Um, and those are hard-nosed, unselfish, and always competitive. And I think we saw that competitiveness in St. Louis uh, and unselfishness in St. Louis resulted in our you know, season lows of turnovers, a lot of different guys getting touches, making plays, guys diving on the floor again, uh, guys trying to take charges again. I think those things have to come back. Um, you know, I, I just want to close by saying, um, you know, our future in, 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 the, in this program is to, is to <coughs> recruit kids and maintain a stable structure for them. Um, to be able to grow and prosper where they can, where they can have excellence on the court and in the classroom. And, you know, once that is, continues to be the focus for me and, and my staff, then I think we'll see results that, 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 that both sides want to see.